Hey everybody, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Pi 3 and 4, and this is Mary and Luigi Superstar Saga for the Game Boy Advance, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com, so let's keep going and jokes end here. As a meteorologist, I am particularly interested in the whirlwinds that appear in the seas in this area. When rotational energy is added to the warm up depths of air, whirlwinds occur. It's quite fascinating. I would love to research this mechanism further and test it out somewhere. Well, we might have to do that in a second here. Yeah, I am not too happy about this whole walkthrough, and there's a reason why. Let's go over here first and I'll get some items. Some whole beans, freshing herbs, and some coins. Mushroom and another whole bean in here. So we can't go over here, so there's only one way we can go. And hopefully I can dodge this room very carefully. Sweet. And get rid of you. Yeah, I didn't go around and clear out this room. There's a reason why, and it's because I'm getting impatient. <laughs> um, the reasoning of what happened in this walkthrough, I just kind of walked into that one. Uh, and I'm doing the wrong power. You have to go in here with your electrical attack. I'm way too rushing through this part right now. Because the reason why I'm so frustrated with this walkthrough is because the walkthrough is done. The whole thing is done. All of it's recorded. Most of it's rendered. I have to finish rendering it up later sometime eventually. Except for this part seemed to have went horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. The reason why it went horribly wrong is after I finish recording it... Oh, before I get to that... Shoot, wrong power. Is you have to switch to Luigi in the front back again. Charge up your electrical power. Stay in one place. And then when they start moving again, you have to charge up really quick. Not like that, but let me try doing it again. Charge up quick. You just kind of have to stop in between here. It's really tricky and it's really annoying. There, kind of like that. Alright, anyways. The whole thing is done. The whole walkthrough is all rendered, recorded. Well, most of it's rendered anyways. Part 54, however. This part that I'm doing right now. This is the, the bane of my existence. The reason why is because I wasn't paying too much attention to when I originally was rendering this. It rendered into a Swift file. And what does that mean exactly? Well, for the Swift file, what that means is it can't be uploaded on YouTube. And do you think I could find a converter anywhere that converts a Swift file into pretty much anything? No. Oh, I should show you a trick to this, by the way. I can't remember if I did this already or not. But just to show this off, or I might do this in a future video. So if I talk about this twice, you'll know why. Anyways, you can hit this multiple times, actually. And you can get kind of more coins that sense if you're really talented and skilled, which I'm not. So just to show that off, this is another way you can clear off rally blocks. I was watching another walkthrough. I think his name is like Dark Lord Banky or Dark Dog Blanky or something like that. I don't know. Doesn't matter, I'll probably say it more accurately later on. Yeah, you think I could find a converter anywhere that converts a Swift file to an AVI, to an FEL, to... Well, frickin' anything? Even a... An anything? I've found a lot of programs that converts anything into a Swift file. But do you think I could find something that converts Swift to anything? Without crashing my computer? Or not crashing my computer, but just shutting down on me because there's been memory leaks. And I also got another friend of mine to try on freaking Windows XP because I have Windows Vista installed just to see if that was a problem. That wasn't the problem at all, no. It was the programs. The only thing I could find was I'd have to pay about, I don't know, 50 to 70 dollars for almost 80 for some programs. Do you really think I want to do that for one video? A bitch. Also, you might find in this video that my statuses, like my HP level and whatever, are going to be slightly different from the rest of this walkthrough because what I pretty much had to do was likely, because I've been saving the whole way through after this portion of my original save file, I've been saving the whole thing. My last save file is at the very end, and if I went back here with that file, one of two things would happen. First of all, 
there's certain things in here that only happen once, so I can only show it off once. Secondly, I'd be coming in here as level 40, and you'd probably be wondering why I'm in here as level frickin' 40. Thank you for stalling me even further. I really don't feel like fighting right now. So what I pretty much either had to do, was, since I couldn't find any swift converters anywhere, was I pretty much had to start from the beginning and play up to this part for 10 minutes of video, which I really didn't want to do, but that seemed to be my only option at the time. Luckily, I used a save state a long time ago, right when I was gathering the bean pieces, bean star pieces or whatever. So I just played from there up to this point, pretty much, using the fast forward key, just kind of skipping all over the text and avoiding everything I could just so I can get up to this part and just do it. Just to get it done. So that's why I'm sounding slightly impatient. That's gonna land on my head. Thank you once again for delaying me even further. And the tricky part of this whole thing is that I have to start and end this video at the same point as the other ones. So I'm hoping it all works out. Anyways, enough of that ranting, so let's spin across here. Okay, this point here is when Mary and Luigi have to do some work here. This is where the real challenge starts. Look, you should probably just give up and go home. I feel like just giving up and going home, but I'm not gonna do that. I see you. Oh, leave me alone. I'm not in the mood. I'm tired. I'm angry. Just leave me alone. Alright, let's take Luigi's path first. Taking Luigi's path. Also, if you fight alone as Luigi, you might find that he'll gain some more level ups than Mario, because don't forget, I also equipped Luigi with the um, double points ex or double experience points if you don't get hurt in battle. So just keep that in mind, son of a bitch, when you're traveling around. If you equip them on Mario, then it's going to be the opposite story, or not at all, then, well, you'll have more consistent level ups, I guess. Anyways, um, back to walkthrough and stuff. Um, the next walkthrough that I'm probably going to be doing isn't going to be anyone on the DS. The one that I said I was going to do as a DS is a big surprise. Um, I've tried multiple DS emulators. Um, I can tell you something right now. The game is sideways. It is one of the only emulated games that, um, I know there's a few emulators that actually can flip the game sideways, like because Brain Age is sideways and other games I guess are sideways, like Sudoku and whatever, but this particular game doesn't work with, um, I guess the emulator is called Ideas, I believe, or Desmune. Desmune doesn't support rotation. The Des Desmune with the zoom doesn't support the game. Has rotation on some games, but not this particular one. The instant you open it on ideas, it just turns up as a black screen. It's an emulation problem. So I tried different ones and I finally found one in like Spanish that supported rotation. I forget what it's called, like it's called DS Zoom or IDS2 Zoom or something really freaking bizarre. Get the item box in there. No. Thank fucking god I would have raged can't go up there yet. Anyway, so I finally found one that was capable of actually doing the rotation. <clears throat> the sound was a bit crackled and there was nothing really I could do about that, but I have to get Luigi over there first. Anyways, it wasn't perfect, but you know, at least it was playable sideways too, which was kind of nice. Let's switch with Mario. And then we want to climb up here with Luigi. Hit the switch. Alright, and then these two brothers will meet up here. Okay, um, this is probably where this part is going to end. I'll call it a quick wrap for today. So I want to thank everybody, although I'll just um, explain what's going to happen here. You just have to hit these two switches simultaneously, and then a little void thing will pop out and say you have... Actually, I'll just show it off here. I don't remember if I do it. So if I do it twice, I'm sorry. Um, actually, I do think I do it in the next video. Anyways... I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. 
probably gonna start my next walkthrough. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this part. Thanks for hearing me out. Um, hope you're enjoying the walkthrough so far and I hope you'll enjoy the rest of it. So I'll catch you guys later. See ya!